What's going on guys, Ishin here. In today's episode, I'm not going to be talking about cars or bikes. This is going to be true nerdy computer stuff. So if you're not into computers, technology, any of this stuff, you can go ahead and shut this video down. So I decided to film this video because at least from my experience, a lot of car guys are actually also into uh, technology, gadgets, computers, and uh, some of you were probably also gamers. So you might have a gaming PC. For me, I don't really game with my PC because simply I don't have time. I used to play like Warcraft, Starcraft, uh, strategy games. But nowadays my computer is strictly used for editing. And I decided to upgrade it recently. I started filming more and pumping more content. I realized that my GPU is lacking. So I'm gonna do a quick video today on my current setup what I'm upgrading to and the reason why I'm upgrading to that. So first of all, I'm gonna pull out my desktop PC out of where it is so I can access the guts of it. Which is this thing right here sitting under my desk. So here's my custom built PC. I built it ah like five years ago six years ago and i've been slowly upgrading it i already upgrade the cpu in the past about three years ago and i'm gonna talk about the specs real quick but before we get into that let's clean this thing up a little bit because it is extremely dusty and i don't want to get in there contaminate everything with dust all right now that it's cleaned up let's get into it let you guys know what kind of uh, setup I have in there and another reason why I wanted to do this video is to help out those of you who want to get into YouTubing and edit uh, videos in Adobe Premiere um, although it was getting slow and the amount of information I wanted to process what it was getting just bigger and bigger uh, you can't get away with this setup that I had I mean I was running this setup for like five six years and I never really had a problem so if you want to get into it, you know, if you don't want to invest like $2,000, $3,000 into your editing gaming PC, then this might be a solution for you because I probably spent uh, $1,200 tops. This might be a good example of the type of setup I have, the type of hardware I have in this PC to get you started with editing videos on YouTube. So let's just get into it. So first of all, this is the case. It's a uh, full tower, so it's a full size case. It's actually humongous. I wanted to make sure I have room for upgrades like the one I'm doing today in the future because when I started building this PC I wasn't sure how far I wanted to go with building it but nowadays I'm kind of happy that I want this full tower so I can just keep expanding memory, hard drive, all that space. And this is the Corsair 760T like I said it's a full tower so it's full size. What's cool about this is the glass panel on the left and right is see-through so you can look directly into it it's got nice leds that lights everything up and uh you have access to it from the left and right side because both sides open so back of its cable management the front is where all the fancy stuff is located so in here is the motherboard right in the center that's the as rock x99 motherboard i have no problem with that the cpu i'm using which is uh located under the cooler here is the Intel Core i7 5820K 3.3 gigahertz good CPU but it might be starting to slow down a little bit with all the processing that I do it's probably going to be the next thing I'll upgrade as I'm upgrading the GPU and eventually CPU has to keep up to that so I have the EVGA 7 GTX 760 GPU in here this was okay at the time but like I said, it's now starting to slow down. So what I'm upgrading to now is this bad boy over here. This here is the GTX 1080. And this is the hybrid, FTW hybrid version, which means it's got a liquid cooling system like a car, which is kind of cool. I have never had a GPU that's a liquid cools. So I'm gonna try this out. I got it for 589, a micro center. And I don't know if you guys know computers that you could have gone with 1080 Ti but honestly, uh, 589 is still a lot of money and I did not want to spend any more money. I think TI would have been maybe overkill for Adobe Premiere anyways. So I'm going to start with the 1080 and then maybe upgrade the CPU before I get the TI in the future or whatever GPU is coming out next year or year after or 
you know, this GPU 1080 is probably gonna be good for like next three years. So I don't plan on upgrading anytime soon. So that's the major upgrade I'm gonna be installing today. Aside from that, I have the 750 watt Corsair uh, power unit. Right now I'm running SSD, solid state hard drive, which is 250 gigs for the, uh, the C drive. But I'm gonna be upgrading the SSD to 500 gig today, as well as adding another eight terabyte hard drive, 3.5 inch. I mean, this is what's cool about full power housing or full power uh, PC case, oops, is that look at all these spacing for installing additional capacity. Uh, you have room for days. This is like whenever I open the hood of the RX-7 or like the Datsun 280Z, it's there, there's so much room in the engine bay and there's so much space for activities upgrades and the sky's the limit so there you go so i'm gonna be adding this eight terabyte hdd from barracuda 7200 rpm and also i'm gonna be adding the 850 evo 500 gigabytes just to speed up things and also i'm doing fresh windows 10 install because I can afford it nowadays, it's like a hundred bucks. Back in the days, a hundred bucks used to be a lot of money. And I used to, I mean, obviously torrent these uh, OS systems. But you know what, I can afford it, so I'm gonna keep it legal. I bought the disc, I'm gonna do a fresh install, nice and clean, and see how fast this thing goes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking stuff apart, getting ready for the installation. So here goes the time lapse. Alright guys, so the GPU is in. That was pretty much straightforward. All I did was take this old one out and then replace it with this unit. Same power supply going into it, two ports. And the only difference is that, like I said, this one is water-cooled. So I had to take the old fan out from the back, replace it with the brand new water cooler with the fan attached to it. So that's going to draw air out of the PC. Actually, you know what? It might be going in and out. I'm not sure if it's in, out or in out this way pc noob here don't know what i'm talking about but the fan here is powered by the gpu so the power is sucked in from the gpu so you don't have to have your own additional line going into the fan which is kind of nice so what i'm going to do now is install the solid state hard drive and the eight terabyte uh, storage for additional capacity so i'm just going to play with this back here and uh, hook everything up and see if it starts And of course, as always, there's more to it than just installing it. I actually had to go to Micro Center and pick up some cables because now I'm about to run five hard drives and I'm running out of power supply and I had to get some uh, data cables as well. So what I'm gonna do now, and for those of you who actually follow me on this type, kind of topic, is I'm gonna get power supply for the hard drive with Molex cable. Molex cable split into a Y, into a power cable for the hard drive, SATA, SATA cables. So that's what I'm gonna install now and see if that's enough power to be delivered with my 750 watt power supply. All right guys, and the installation is complete. I got the 1080 GTX and I got my one, two, three, four, five hard drives in here now. This is massive amounts of storage. Um, probably like 10 terabytes of storage with 750 gigabytes left for the OS and programs and whatnot. So this thing should run really damn fast. I just need to do more filming, catch up on editing and produce more content for the YouTube channel. So that's it. I'm just gonna hook everything up, start it up and see how everything runs.